Hello friends and welcome back to another video where today we will be looking at the full history and backstory of Tom Bombadil and some theories about his involvement in the Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power Season 2 as he was first seen in Episode 4 of the second season titled Eldest. Make sure to like and subscribe and join our Patreon if you want to support the channel even more and here is a free quick look at the first edition of the weekly newsletter. Now let's get into it. Tom Bombadil is one of the most enigmatic and mysterious characters in Tolkien's Legendarium and is known for his whimsical nature and independence and separation from the events that shaped Middle-earth throughout the ages. His character appears most prominently in The Fellowship of the Ring and the first volume of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. However, Bombadil's origins and presence in Tolkien's work extend beyond just this singular appearance, inviting much speculation and interpretation among readers and viewers alike and we'll be discussing some of those today. Tom Bombadil first appeared in a poem written by Tolkien in the 30s, quote, The Adventures of Tom Bombadil, which was later published in a collection under the same name in 1962. The poem mainly depicts Bombadil as mentioned earlier, merry whimsical figure who lives of course in the old forest near the village of Crick Hollow and is seemingly immune to all the threats and dangers that are around him and are presented towards him. He is characterised by his distinctive attire which is a blue cap, a blue coat, a tall hat with a feather and his delight in singing rhymes and beautiful songs. In this early appearance, Tom encounters various creatures of the forest, including the river daughter Goldberry and Old Man Willow and of course a Barrow White or two, all of whom he deals with effortlessly through his unique powers or simple command. Bombadil was conceived independently of the Middle Earth Legendarium and it was until late in Tolkien's life that he included him into the large narrative of the Lord of the Rings. In his letters, Tolkien describes Bombadil as a character that began as a figure in a children's story embodying a spirit of nature and joy. Tom Bombadil makes a significant appearance in The Fellowship of the Ring during the journey of Frodo and his companions towards Rivendell and after leaving the Shire of course the hobbits enter the Old Forest and become trapped by Old Man Willow. However, Bombadil rescues them with his mysterious song and invites them to his house where they meet his wife Goldberry and already here you can see the similarities of what we've seen in episode 4 of the Rings of Power. The hobbits then spend two nights with Bombadil during which he entertains them with tales, songs and wisdom all while remaining light hearted and playful. Bombadil is notably unaffected by the One Ring's power when Frodo hands the ring to him, Bombadil examines it with curiosity and makes it even disappear momentarily and even puts it on without vanishing. This immunity underscores his unique nature, neither the ring's allure nor its danger affects him. When asked who he is, Bombadil gives a cryptic response, quote, he is, adding to his enigmatic presence and again similar to the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, when the stranger asks who he is, he says he is the eldest, so you can again see more similarities. After leaving Bombadil's house, the hobbits are captured by a Barrowite. Tom rescues them again and equips them with swords from the Barrows, underscoring his role as both protector and guide. Despite his pivotal role in the early chapters, Bombadil does not leave his domain in the Odd Forest and his relevance to the broader story seems limited, reinforcing again his independence from the central conflicts and his relevance to the broader story seems limited, further reinforcing his independence from the central conflicts of Middle-earth. So, 
That is the story of Tom Bombadil thus far, and now let's look at and theorise around what we could expect from the character in the second age within the context of course of the Rings of Power. Well, so far in show canon, we know Tom Bombadil has relocated from his home in the Odd Forest to the far lands of Rune after finding out that the once green lands have become barren and deserted. Along with him it looks like a relative haha of Old Man Willow also appears at his new house with Old Man Ironwood, whereby the stranger also got stuck in the tree, like Merry and Pippin in the movie's extended edition and of course Frodo and Co in the books. So it is pretty clear that the Tom Bombadil character that we're seeing in season 2 is there to guide and help the stranger. So the big thing here, will Tom Bombadil help the stranger understand and find his true identity? By the end of the episode, Tom Bombadil even admits that he knows the stranger is not ready yet for this purpose, but he said that he can still learn and find out. So it looks like this is setting up the rest of the season where he will train under Tom Bombadil and discover his purpose which was briefly outlined to him by Tom Bombadil who of course mentioned that he has to fight the Dark Wizard and Sauron. We also know that Tom Bombadil previously treated and even let the evil wizard played by Kieran Hines stay at his house and even trained him. So maybe his purpose is to also help the stranger defeat the evil wizard which of course Tom Bombadil also helped him train and again this links to his identity because Tom also revealed that this evil wizard, this dark wizard is an Istar, so from one of the five of the order of the Istari. So this again begs the question, who is the stranger and who is this dark wizard? One theory is that Tom helped train the blue wizards but then of course Kieran Hines evil wizard killed the blue wizard other counterpart so of course he died and then now either Gandalf most likely or Saruman comes and is sent on his mission to find Tom Bombadil where Tom Bombadil can now train Gandalf or this new Istari to help defeat the evil wizard once and for all because we even see on the top of his hut the constellation so it seems like a few meteorites or they have come from the west before so it looks like there is a purpose to this all and Tom even mentions that and even the strange in fact by stating that maybe my purpose was to come and find you something along those lines that all along he's meant to find Tom Bombadil in Rune. But now what are we going to see from him beyond this will we see Tom Bombadil again in the story as mentioned earlier on in the video he's normally meant to be a bit independent from the story and not really get involved with the action and he even mentions this to the stranger that he just going to tend his plants and poppies instead of you know getting involved and defeating the evil dark wizard himself so it makes sense to maybe see him again if of course he is with goldberry or maybe in conjunction with the stores moving back and finding probably what is most likely going to be the shire he could also maybe assist them somehow in finding their way back to the Shire because of course he is in the old forest and that's his original home allegedly. So it could make sense that in the future Tom Bombadil is indeed linked to the stores and Nori and Poppy and the Harfits all finding the Shire which could be quite an interesting play to way to look at it and if that is the direction the Shire ones could take in my opinion. This is the best way to involve Tom Bombadil in the future of the show without him being actually involved with the Sauron, Gandalf, whatever conflict happening in Middle Earth. So yes, I think that would be the best way to utilize Tom Bombadil because regardless, we know that they're going to be most likely, even especially after episode 4, going to find the establishing of the Shire and no better person than to have Tom Bombadil do that and save the day and help them establish it. Thank you guys for watching, let us know what you think in the comments below and what you thought of Tom Bombadil in episode 4 and what you expect from him for the rest of the season. 
of course please make sure to like and subscribe and also consider joining our patreon we'd really appreciate that extra level of support for all this content we do for you guys but until the next video my friends goodbye